Moving on to the next part that we need to create in this assembly, I'll just pan up to look at the next sheet in my working drawings here. And we're going to create the piston top. This looks a little bit more complicated and at first glance most inventor users will try to define this entire sketch and then possibly do an extrusion. There's a simpler way of doing it. An inventor, there's no right way or wrong way, but there may be an easier way. So when I look at this, I see the most basic shape as, is a circle with a hole and then some rectangles protruding from that circle. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to model it based on that. Moving to inventor, we close down the base rod and we start a new file, part file, standard inch IPT under the English tab. Click OK and we begin by creating the circle. Click on the circle tool, click to place the center point of the circle and drag your mouse out, left click again to define the diameter. We're now going to place the dimension of this circle by clicking the dimension tool, then clicking the edge of the circle and just dragging the dimension anywhere you want and left click to place it. We want to set the dimension to the, our working drawing number of 1.4 so we simply click on the list of dimension and we enter 1.4 clicking on the green arrow the circle has increased based on the dimension we enter I'm now finished sketching so I simply say finish sketch I'm gonna place this in isometric mode moving to my view cube and simply clicking the home icon and I'm simply going to use the extrude tool and the extrusion is listed at 0.9 click on OK and I've created my basic circular shape looking at the working drawings we have a hole through it so in the previous exercise here we just simply drew circles and we extrude it. It's not actually a hole in that case, that's just a lack of mass of an object. But in this case I'm actually going to drill out, use the hole command and actually place a hole concentric to this outer circle. To do this we simply choose the hole tool and we get a dialog box. We have several placement tools from the sketch, linear from two edges, you can see low icon with dimensions concentric or if I place the point. In this case I want it concentric to the circle so I simply say concentric. It's now asking me for the plane i.e. the top of the hole so I simply click this top face. Now it's asking me for the concentric reference which is actually this circle. In this case I want this hole to go through everything and I want this to be a diameter of 0.25 which it already was set to but I'll just retype it in there and click apply and I've created a hole. I can click on the done and as you can see I now have a hole. To rotate this view you have several options. You can click on the view cube itself and just click and hold and just rotate this around or you've got a rotate tool in this in this <coughs> excuse me this view toolbar that you can then just rotate this around and when you're complete you can simply right click and select done or press the escape button. The next portion of this <clears throat> of this part I'll go back to the PDF are these wings. I am simply going to keep it simple and only create one wing. Going back to inventor I want to draw this on this face here. So I really can't draw an isometric view. I'm just not that good. So moving to my view toolbar, I have this wonderful tool called view face. If I pick on it and pick on any face, it actually spins it around in plan view for me. Now in order to draw any 2D object, we need to be in sketch mode. So at the top right hand corner, we have create 2D sketch. So I single click and now it's asking me for a work plane. 
So I want to pick this top face as my sketching plane. I now simply choose my rectangle command and I'm simply going to draw a rectangle just like that. And now I'm going to use my dimension tools to place this properly in position. <clears throat> so the first thing that I know is that this line here, I click and I drag up and I'll place the dimension, should be 0.25. So I simply click on the dimension and enter the new value of 0.25. The next thing I know is that from this line to this line, from this line to the center of the circle is actually half of 2.6, right? So from here to here is 2.6 to the center should be 1.3. I simply use my dimension tool, pick the center point of that circle, pick the line, drag out the value, place the dimension, and I can edit the dimension. Now in this case, we all can simply do the math of 2.6, but if we divide it by 2 and we know that it's 1.3, but if we wanted to, we can enter the value 2.6 and put a slash in there for the divide symbol and simply put the value we're dividing it by. So we can now place mathematical equations in for dimensions. Click. We now have the appropriate height that this has to be away from it. Now one of the now we do want to have this centered. So what we're going to do is we're going to dimension. I'm still in the dimension tool from this line to the center of the circle and I'll drag it down here and I'll place that dimension. Now we're going to put some intelligence in this dimension in the sense that this value should always be half of this. So if this was 5, this should be 2.5. We simply click on the dimension with, we can delete the current dimension and we simply can make our way to any dimension value and we can click on it and it puts the dimension value in for me. And as I did in the past, I'll just simply divide it by 2 to make sure that this will always be centered. And I now have it centered. I'm finished sketching. So I say, click on the Finish Sketch tool. I'm going to place this in isometric view. So you can see I drew on that top face and I have this wonderful 2D sketch. I'm now going to extrude. It's asking me for what profile and I want this whole profile. It's going the wrong way. So we can flip via these arrows here and also split the dimension. But we do want it to go fully through. We want it to go a distance of 0.9 and we click on OK. We've created our first wing. Now on this wing we have a hole. These holes are dimensioned off the edges. We have the diameter of the hole. So we're going to place that hole first. So we choose the hole tool and we're going to use the linear placement. First it wants to know what's the top of the hole so I'll just simply pick this face here. Then it wants two referencing edges. I'm going to select this edge and that edge. Now I can actually click on this dimension and for my working drawings I know it's 0.3. I'm going to click on this dimension and for my working drawings it's 0.45. I've now centered the hole. I want the hole to go through everything so select termination through all and the diameter hole is 0.13. Click OK. I've now placed the hole. Now we can go through that process three more times or we can use the circle pattern tool which is right here. So we click on the circle pattern tool and we can choose the features we want to pattern. Some people may also refer to this as a circular array. So we want to choose this extrusion and this hole. So you notice the browser, we have the extrusion 2 and the hole highlighted. The rotation axes, we can simply choose the center mark and then we simply specify the number 
that we want and we do want number of placements we want and we do want to go full 30 360 degrees we click on OK and we've now completed the piston top click on the save button and enter piston top save 